So you're going to want to think of your left hand of this song as having two segments to it. For every one time that the second part gets played, the first part is going to get played three times. So it's going to be three and one, three and one, over and over again in a loop. The first segment is going to start here on a C sharp. You're going to go C sharp, G sharp, C sharp, D sharp, E sharp, F sharp, G sharp. And then the loop starts over again. In rhythm, it should sound like this. Then, your second part that only gets played once is going to go E, D sharp, B, G sharp, B, and then you're back to the C sharp. In rhythm, it should be... So once through a loop of your bass line, it should sound something like this. That's your bass line for this song. Then your chorus high end synth line that you're gonna hear when Crit saying, I got this. You're gonna start here on a C sharp. It's gonna be a lot similar to the left hand in the fact that there's three parts that get played first that are all the same, and then one second part that only gets played once. So the first segment is gonna start here on a C sharp. You're gonna go to a G sharp and then an F sharp. E, D sharp, E. So in rhythm, it should sound like. so on and so forth. Then, the second segment that only gets played once is going to start here on a C-sharp. You're going to go E, D-sharp, E, C-sharp, F-sharp, E, D-sharp, and then you're back to a C-sharp for the start of the loop. The second segment in rhythm should sound like... Once all the way through, your chorus synth should sound something like this. That's your chorus synth. Putting together those two parts I just showed you, you should get something like this for your chorus backing track. That's your chorus backing track. Then during your verses, you're going to start here on an E major chord. So together with the C sharp in the left hand that you're going to be playing, uh, that's going to make a C sharp minor seventh. The E uh, major chord is going to be composed of E, G sharp, and B. You're going to hit this three times. It's going to go. Then you're going to go E, D sharp. So you're going to play what I just showed you three times, and then you're just going to hit this chord again and hold it out. Then, the second time through your verse backing loop, you're going to play the exact same thing the first three times. Like I said, you hit this, go. You're going to do that three times again, only it's going to be down here. So you play that three times, and then when you hit the last chord, instead of hitting it here, you're going to hit it back up here. So once through your loop for the verse, should sound something like this.
That's your verse right hand. And together that right hand that I just showed you together with the same left hand we've been using, you should get something like this for your verse backing track. That's all you need to know for I Got This by Big Crit off his upcoming Live from the Underground LP.